Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make radial hue shifts for three different materials separately, so we can change colors on them separately, but also how to make a hue shift radial that's going to change colors on all of them if you toggle it. So um, I made my three materials, which are classic Poyomi materials with a hue shift on them. You can see the color changing. I made some parameters, which you can see here it's basically just uh, four floats for each u shift three separate and one total override and then a boolean for override and i'm gonna actually uh, rename it because this is actually gonna be a bit smarter and then i made a menu where you have standard radial puppets like you can see here for all the floats for the radios and then you have a toggle for the boolean itself. So that's quite easy to set up. Then I made all my animations. And uh, you can see how it's basically classic Blanche one frame animation to set. Uh, I should show you. To set the U shift to the value. You can see it here. If I were to change it. Yeah, it's quite easy actually record it back there you go and then this is kind of special you need to make an empty animation so how you do that is you just click right click create animation name it whatever and then it's an empty animation gonna meet i'm gonna be need that for later uh yes delete that please now we have your fx layer when you need to uh copy all your parameters and I need to change this one because I changed the name. There we go. And this is classic. Everything has to be a float because it's a blend tree. And then you have a new float called blend tree weight. They set to one. So now we're gonna make a layer. I'm gonna make it uh, call it blend tree or whatever we want. It doesn't matter. Then we're gonna make a blend tree. Double click, set it to direct, and create four blend trees. And the parameter should be the blend sheet weight. And on all of them, this way we're telling it that um, it should take all of them into account at all times, basically. So in, in the first layer of these, in all these four, we're going to be checking if the Boolean for the override is off or on. And that way we're going to be telling it to, you know, make the hue shift separately if it's off and if it's on make the hue shift on all of them in the fourth one the last one so we start by checking uh over at hue bool in all of them and in the separate ones first you go and you blend tree and the second one is going to be motion field basically if this bool is off do the hue shift separately and if it's on do nothing and for nothing you need to put in the empty clip because if you don't, I think what I think happens is that Unity ignores the empty slab and it goes directly to the blend tree, which would create a mess of doing everything at all times on top of everything. And we don't want that. So, you know, we prevent it this way. So now let me set up the next one uh, the same way. Could be empty here too. And this one as well. And the last one is going to be the other way because uh, this one we want to toggle only if the toggle is on. There you go. So that's fine. And now we toggle these actual radials. So we change this to U1 and we add two motion fields and we drag our animations into here, into here, into it. Uh, the same one with this one for U2. Uh, for U3 as well. And then we set it up for our little override here. Oh, sorry, that was wrong. It's little mistakes. Everybody makes them, I guess. Is that correct? That's correct. I need to change it here to uh, view override. Two motion fields. Uh, I can, I mean, I can do it either way. It doesn't matter, but anyway. Yeah, so it should look like something like this. It should be fine. Just gonna like 
double check everything on the last like moment. You know, you can always check stuff, I guess. Anyway, let's uh, go to play mode. I have gesture manager in a scene so I can test it in Unity. I don't have to upload it or build it or anything. So let's go into play mode and see what happens. So we're in play mode, gesture manager is on. Let's see, uh, let's see what happens. So let me try changing a couple colors to make the craziest, weirdest combination I can. Then I'm gonna change this one. It doesn't do anything. And let's see what happens if I push the button. Boom, it overrides. Now it's changing all of them. And the thing is this way, it kind of saves the other values. So we can always like toggle in between, I guess, if you want. Okay, let's see, uh, kind of like purple, but anyway, blue is also, I guess, nice. But yeah, there you go. Um, let me know if this helped you. I, ho I hope you liked it. Uh, you know, write comment, like the video, share it with friends, people who need to learn this, subscribe. And let me know what kind of videos you want me to make next, because I do read the comments and I, you know, this was actually um, a comment from someone from uh, the last video. So uh, I made a video on this topic from the comment. So anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.